Hello and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld series. Probably notice our guys are uh, being busy little worker bees, and that's because uh, they are starting some of the, uh, well, basically the project that I have planned today. We're going to bring Operation Mechrect to a close in the next couple of episodes, but before that, there are a couple of things that I really want to do. I really want to still take it to the mechs, and I think the subject for today is going to be, I mean not the subject, but the topic and goal of the day is we're going to build a Air Force. And by build Air Force, what I basically mean is I want to get two more of these albatrosses, um, then I also want to be able to uh, keep them supplied with the uh, armaments that they need, the high explosive artillery shells and so on and so forth. And then basically every time we go after one of those uh, mechanoid ships, we're just going to bomb them back into the stone age. Or I guess we're going to bomb them back into the age where, you know, like four gigs of RAM took up an entire room, so something like that, you know, whatever the, the computer equivalency of the stone age is. And then another thing we're going to get started today, Gladys is actually already starting on it, we're going to start uh, Rim Atomics, and we're going to start with the nuclear uh, reactor, basically, because I keep having some power issues. In between episodes, there were several times where my power would just kind of fail me, and of course we have lots of robots that require power, um, but I'm not necessarily running out of room yet, but this is quite a few solar power generators and wind power and uh, while they are advanced both the solar and the wind um, they're starting to kind of take up a lot of space and I think a nuclear reactor would really kind of alleviate a lot of the pressure on that not to mention with Rome Atomics we will be able to unlock new weapons new defensive weapons uh, I believe it's the Marauder. Marauder's definitely one of my favorites uh, because it requires no ammo, just energy, and it basically turns everything to red paste. So we're still a ways from that, but it's a start. We're going to get there eventually. Now, if you've never dealt with Herm Atomics before, um, it is a little different from our normal research. You basically click on the research bench. It'll unlock new different things, but you don't just research it, research it and then you're done with it. You're actually undergoing projects. So at the nuclear research reactor, we started the project. Uh, next step that we gotta do is we have to construct a research reactor, which we are doing right there. But then we're going to have to research and train before we actually gain access to that. A lot of times with the weapons and stuff like that, like right here it shows you first we have to re actually research it, which we'll do at this bench. Then we'll construct a weapons research bench, which we already ha have. Then you have to experiment it, experiment with it, create like a uh, alpha and alpha slash beta prototype, uh, work with it, so on and so forth. And uh, then you just kind of go from there. Very fun mod. If you've never experienced it, definitely would recommend. Uh, but let's go see what we what kind of trouble we can get into with that, huh? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Uh, oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> oh no. Well, it was almost close to what I said in a previous episode. You know, I said with putting all this together, there's going to be a ship chunk or something that lands there. Oh my god, Waveholder, what are you doing? <laughs> but I said, you know, something's gonna land there, it's all gonna explode, and the problem's gonna solve itself. And it almost kinda did. But not quite. Now we need to see if Waveholder can survive. <laughs> Alright, well you caused the problem, you gotta fix it. Alright, and we're going to... Oh. Oh, they can still get in. Well, this is a problem. Uh, Hardy, destroy mode. Mutt, destroy mode. Please, destroy them. You guys need to move in, like, right now. Before they kinda go crazy. Yeah, just go on right here. Go into the fray. Let's see, they're gonna sneak around there too. Yep. Might be a little bit of a problem. Um. Please no. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and just get in their faces. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. With us being all in melee, we should be able to take care of them without an issue. Not too worried about Athena being into the fray because you might have noticed I uh, fitted her out with Shriek armor. And what that means is I can fly her out of danger. And uh, she also moves incredibly fast. Let's see where the rest of 
some of this damage is... Oh, yeah, I forgot about dogs. Hey, um, you guys can also help out. Yeah, this shouldn't be too big of a deal. Bring it on. You cannot defeat me. Oh, well, something just exploded somewhere. Well, there's going to be enough, another muffalo down. Yeah, get him, blue squad. Oh, no. That wolf scarab is uh, about to die. That could indeed be a problem. Yeah, how do you like it? I took your DNA and mixed it with a dog DNA. Oh, this might not be uh release insect clouds. Does does that does that do anything for you? That indeed does not do much for you. Well, this is a bummer. Uh, now this bug has pulled the Spartan defense on uh, my guys because I told him just do seek and destroy, and he's a. Uh, Kind of blocking everyone. And here's uh, GLaDOS and Bishop about to completely die. Hey, uh, Bishop, how about you uh, save her, please? And can you, like, hurry and kill him faster? Thank you. <laughs> no, don't don't leave her. Save her. <laughs> what are you doing? What's this bug over here? Yeah, yeah, this bug's just trying to take out this combat droid. All right, get him. Oh, no, not Mutt. Wow, that was... A lot more... Oh no! Oh no! Not combat mechanoid! Hmm. Well, that was a lot more damaging than I thought it would be. We... Some of our uh, wolf scarabs are down. About to bleed out. Yeah, they, they, well, we might be able to save that one, but that one... Uh, that one's probably gone. And, um... GLaDOS is down. Hmm. This might be an issue. Yes, death, death, death. Combat mechanoid, wolf scarab forward, muffalo one. Indeed, a little bit of a bummer, but we must carry on. I really like the fact that if you down the bugs and then they get back up, they're all cool with you. It's like it's like friends who just beat the snout out of each other and then afterwards you're like, ha ha ha, that was a fun time. Well, it's about to be more of a fun time, but not for you, you pests. You know, I went and told all of our guys to go ahead and hunt the remaining ones. Um, please do not shoot shoot the bugs near the, like, sticks. Sticks. Oh, I'm so glad he's a good shot. That could have ended so badly. We still could have had our mega explosion. Would have made for great content, but then half my base would have been gone. So we've pretty much well got everything that we need at this point for our two other albatrosses. This one is just the one that we moved from over here. We do need some Synthread though. And we are making that currently um, part of the uh, Rimafeller mod. We can do a Synthread refiner. It's going to take a little bit, not too long. Um, every time this buffer gets up to 100% we receive 20 Synthread. And uh, we should be able to have that taken care of here in no time. Then we'll actually have a pretty decent Air Force. I mean, I don't know if you'd call, like, three ships part of any, like, modern major Air Force. But it'll be an Air Force nonetheless. So we received a quest for, uh, named Destitute Refugees. Basically, this is the refugee quest. What this means is we have, uh, looks like this time we have ten desperate refugees. They're approaching. Uh, something basically happened at their home. They're running away. They are refugees. <laughs> and uh, basically they're offering to uh, work for free and fight. If uh, during that time for the next 13 days so that they can rest regroup. Some of, they may, some of them may join. Um, not really wanting that. But um, they may also reward me in the future for helping them. So we don't know. It says they, uh, we don't know their true intentions. If they uh, decide to betray us, well, then I guess we will, uh, you know, use whoever survives and we'll stick them in a, uh, we'll stick them in one of these bioreactors and then they'll just be fuel for the base. So, you know, regardless, they're going to help out no matter what. Let's go ahead and equip that. Equip that. Accept that. We already went ahead and started building a little barracks in the meantime. Yes, hello, friends. Come on in. Enjoy. Everything that Fort Kickass has to offer to you, do not worry, we will protect you. Unless you betray me. In which case, protect may... is completely the wrong word. You will be turned into paste. But for now, come on in. Be welcome and be jovial. 
I didn't even notice that our uh, second albatross was done. That's glorious. We got one more to go. All right. Do you see us? Do you see us, refugees? Fear us, for we are outpost with an air force, and we just completed our third albatross. Wonderful. I feel like uh, I feel the need to test this out. I mean, you know, especially since we have all these extra colonists, we might as well like. I don't know. Have some of them pilot these magi- No, that's actually a terrible idea. We should not let any of our, like, friendly colonists pilot these because... Okay, I know it won't happen, but could you imagine if they would just be like, These are now yeet! And then they run off with them. Cool. And honestly, I don't see any better way of chasing out our air force than, um, taking out one of our... Enemy carriers. We're gonna go ahead and land scout the position and uh, we'll see how everything looks and then we'll just you know bomb the crap out of them so quite a few oh what was that oh is that oh what are those okay well first and foremost we're gonna scatter our guys out and boomer is actually going to load back in and go home because he's gonna be one of the pilots because I figured you know he's named boomer for a reason He's gonna do the big boom. Now that we got our guys kind of scattered about, they already have mortars coming at us. I don't know if they have any shields though. What is, what is doing? Whoa, what is that? Oh, that is a big boom boom. Uh, Can we like take cover behind that maybe? Oh uh, no, that's actually, we're in kind of a bad spot. Hmm. Okay, really scatter out. Oh. I just, that's what I'm mainly worried about. Oh man, but I guess Einar can just take him to the face. He, he don't care. He's a boss. He don't care. As he stands in between two coconut trees. Nice. Oh, another salvo. And there they go. Ah, oh, too bad you don't see them flying in like a formation. Well, I guess you can just barely make out that there's three of them, but that would have been kind of cool if you would have seen that. Now, of course, as my guys are taking these hits, I'm sure the enemy mechanoids are like, they're just standing there menacingly. And that's exactly why. Oh my god. Glorious. Power overwhelming. We have the power. Now come and face your doom. You have no chance. This is the story of the lonely Scyther. He ran out way ahead of his buddies. He got pushed by one of his buddies. And then he didn't die for some reason. Okay, there he is. He died there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. If he wants to get in your face, go ahead and do it. And let's see. Who's... Okay. What? You think you can double team up on Tin Can? I don't think so. No, jump back time. Um, and then melee scyther time. Yeah. Get him. You know, not all of you are technically in range here. Let's go ahead and take those guys out. Especially since they're like long range. I don't think so. Alright, let's go friends. They cannot defeat us. Okay, you guys should probably still move in a little closer. Here we go, jump pack number two. Get some bros. Actually, you should probably go for this one, since he's, like, shooting at you. Yeah. Get some. Hey, uh, you know, any, any help that you guys feel like giving us? <laughs> you know, I always say it like it's their fault when I'm the one who's out of range. Oh, no, run away. I love that jump pack. That's so awesome. All right, cool. Well, we pretty much will survive that without, uh without really much help other than the stupidity of myself. And so that's always good. Let's go ahead and mop this up. Yeah, you guys didn't stand a chance. We have become too powerful. Fair science. The science of your doom. Now as we're moving along with our nuclear power research, there are some stages that, uh, are labeled as high risk. Uh chance for catastrophic failures haven't had that happen but uh 
You know, I, I, I'm assuming that translates to, hey, you should probably save beforehand. <laughs> Luckily, GLaDOS and Siri both have pretty high stats in uh, intellectual, but uh, fingers crossed, this isn't the time it happens. A blinding flash of light has emanated from the facility. Uh, 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 is this a bad time to autosave? Uh, d does this mean we should stop? Okay, you guys are just about done. Please no explodey. Only a hundred more points. Please no explode. Yeah. Please? Please? Alright, cool. Step completed. Nice. So next, we need to actually build a reactor core. We need to build the, uh... Well, we basically need to build the frame and everything for that to get that going. Don't know if we'll get that complete in this episode, but, um... We can probably at least get it started. And honestly, this will be the start of our nuclear reactor, and I can think of no better place to put it than right next to our food and only water source. I mean, you know, that way, if we need to cool it down, we got the water right there, and if it goes all Chernobyl, we'll have the food to feed all the people who are about to die from radiation poisoning. Solid plan. And as always, the Stromo and Tupperware are indispensable in our quest to acquire nuclear power is they're the ones who are actually like messing with it please don't explode it that 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 would be bad a blinding flash of light has emanated from the facility uh temporary and Astroma. oh okay it it just started to light up and they're like nope i'm out oh never mind astromo came back and enlisted bishop he was like dude no the other one i can't trust him i need your help well and now one of our guest uh refugees has decided she's going to start working on that reactor. Princess, I really hope you know what you're doing. I hope you're one of those refugees that's like, yeah, in the old country, I was nuclear physis physicist. No problem. Okay, and looks like Tupperware and Waveholder are going to finish out building this reactor. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. All right. Nice. Reactor's done. Still got some work to do on it. We, of course, can't just, uh, you know throw rods in there and call it good. We'll have a little bit more building to do on this, but we'll, we'll get to that. Mammy has given up on this community. She has decided to leave and pursue better life somewhere else. I mean, that's that that's fine. I mean, you, you were not supposed to stay here too much longer anyways. <laughs> so, bye, Mammy. G good luck. You, you better not be taking my stuff, though. Don't you... You better not... Oh, are you going to take that knife? Are you going to take that knife? Okay, good. For some reason, I thought I was going to have to arrest this lady. Well, and in between building all these steel heavy reinforced and plasteel heavily and heavy reinforced walls, I'm officially out of steel. So that means uh, we're going to go punch some more mechanoids in the face because that's a cool thing to do, brother. And we're here, ready to destroy some more mechanoids. Let's see how big you are. Oh. Yeah, and of course you guys have mortars. One, don't you? But not a single one of them hit. Ooh, one of them like landed right in the water. Nice. Well, uh, let me introduce you to uh, some of my long-range weaponry. No, I guess it didn't matter much. I thought, oh man, that shield's really going to kind of wreck up my uh, Operation Rolling Thunder, but it sure didn't matter. Uh, now I really hope my guys survive, because that's, uh, that's a lot of dudes. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, don't, don't let them get close. We don't have Athena with us. Oh yeah, stun them. Yes. No mercy. Oh man, we're all about explosions today. It's just nothing but Michael Bay, I guess, huh? Man, are you guys even going to be able to uh, do any damage to me other than what you've done mortar-wise? Okay, yeah, I opened my mouth right as that stupid centipede like hits our guys, but... Hey, focus on the dude with the shield. Thank you. Now focus on the dude with an explosion right now. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Okay. And then we move in, take out a few more turrets, and uh, yeah, we call it a day. Oh my god, and there's, there's a big Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do I want to, uh... Do I want to take the DNA of that and just go stupid with it? Yeah, I think I do. Um, hey guys, on your way to destroying those turrets, do you want to uh, piss off that T-Rex, please? Thank you! Uh, please kill it. Oh my god. Was this a mistake? Never mind. We're okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to make some kind of T-Rex monster. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, base destroyed. Everybody loves me. Okay, except for like a few people, but you know, still. Most people love me. Because I'm awesome. Okay, I'm, ta I'm killing all the mechanoids that would kill them, but you know, I'm awesome. Shut up. Well, so I'd say we probably achieved our goal for today. We got our Air Force up and running. We got them uh, tested out, work like a charm, work wonderfully. I'm going to go get some steel, work on a little bit in between episodes, and then hopefully in the next one, either in the next one or the one after that, we're going to try and wipe out, like, we probably won't get all of them, but the majority of all of the mechanoid ships on the planet I don't know if that'll necessarily do anything, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So, anyways, thank you for joining me tonight. I will talk to you next time, and see you later. Bye.